wins in a game of two on two to 16. Kevin Durant and LeBron James versus Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Who wins and why? Y'all know who I'm rolling with. We're now joined by Fox Sports NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Chris, the internet obviously had a field day going back and forth on this. So I start with you here. Who would win? Well, let me say this, Jim, first. Historically, I think Magic and Bird rank higher collectively. Okay. In my list, and I think a lot of people's list, I've got LeBron highest at second best player of all time. But KD is 14, 15 in that range, at least at this point. We'll see if he moves up. Magic, I've got fourth, and Bird is anywhere from 6 to 10, 6 to 11, somewhere in that range. So I've got Magic and Bird historically as the higher-ranking duo. If it were five on five and you gave these two duos three similarly talented role players, I would lean toward picking Magic and Bird because I just think they they made their teammates so much better. They both were incredible passers, both of them. Uh, so in a five-on-five, five, I probably go with those two. But two-on-two, two, I say LeBron and KD without any hesitation. <laughs> and, and there's two major reasons. Defense and athleticism, which would be huge in a game of two-on-two. Two. LeBron was a great individual defender in his prime. KD is a good individual defender. Magic and Bird were good team defenders. They were smart, so they got a lot of steals and things like that. But neither one of them would be able to stay in front of LeBron and KD, and especially not LeBron. So LeBron would live at the rim. And KD, of course, you, you just can't stop him. We know that. On the other side, I'm not saying LeBron and KD could stop Magic and Bird. But they could make it tough on them. And that's all you do with great players. They would make it tougher on them to score than Bird and Magic would make it on LeBron and KD. Now, you might say, well, LeBron's not a great shooter. Again, he lived at the rim, number one. But Magic wasn't a great shooter either. He's better than most people give him credit for. But Magic shot a set shot for the most part. A little jumping a little as he shoots it, but really a set shot. And so that would be tougher to get off in two on two, because they wouldn't have to double off. Uh, to, they wouldn't have to double Bird to stop him, so he could stay home on uh, Magic, and it'd be tougher for him to get the set shot off. And so, yeah, to me, in two on two, the young boys would take him out. <laughs> I mean, you, you do. The, the, there's something, Chris, that people don't give it enough credit for. It's called evolution. And people get bigger, stronger, faster. Forget after, if you don't want to say athleticism, what about skill? Mm. The really good. Yeah, what the, about skill? That's a good question. Whoa, whoa, wait a yeah. minute. Are you saying Larry yeah, Bird? Yeah, I am. Is more skilled than Kevin Durant? Yeah, I am. Oh, my God. Chris Bassard, can you take his, uh, uh, his card? Can you take his journalism card? Because you ought to be ashamed of yourself, <laughs> Skip Bayless, that you said that on you that TV. I got to be honest, Skip, Shannon. That's not that's not blasphemous. It's blasphemous. I mean, shooting, I think Bird's a better shooter, but if you want to call that a wash, that's fine. Yeah, at, 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 at worst case, Bird it's a if wash. I had to pick one. I mean, you're talking about seven, seven foot that can seven foot that can shoot anywhere. That well, can do Bird, Bird is 6'10, 6'9. But Bird, so uh, Bird wasn't close. getting to the Bird, rim. I, I so you looking at the matchup, you looking no, at the matchup, LeBron versus Magic, you feel that's where the young guns have their decided edge at? The decided edge, yes. Yes, that's the decided edge. Just because Matt LeBron's so athletic and strong. So some people say, well, in the, let them play the old school way. They can get physical, which might impact Durant a little bit if you're going to let Bird really get physical with him. It's not going to impact LeBron. <laughs> LeBron be the strongest guy out there. So, you, I, I and Bird and Magic were the best passers. As great a passer as LeBron is, Magic's the best passer in the group. Bird is right there. I think Bird was as good a passer as LeBron. But here's he the thing. But here's like the LeBron, thing, though, Chris. But he was as good a passer at least. But Chris, so that's why five on five, I think they benefit. Two on two, they'd be in trouble. Right in a full court setting, not in a half court. You neutralize what Magic was great right. at his vision and his ability to get the ball ahead. But in a half-court set, that's not, it's, 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 not, it's not as important. 
Now I'm just going to use my skill, my athleticism against your skill, your athleticism in a half-court set. And because I have so much respect, Larry Bird was my favorite player growing up. So I have so much respect for him in Magic. So I'm going to say, you know, we're going we gonna to play with him because it's, it's going to be made for TV, and we don't want it to be short, so we got to make it to be a, like a 30-minute special. So we'll let him get to eight. But Skip talking crazy to me, we might make it 16-4. Mm. Are you finished with your prisoner of the moment <laughs> phony baloney? Are you finished? I'm done. I'm done. First, allow me to say I am so disappointed in my friend Chris Broussard. I thought he would come with the wisdom of the ages and settle this debate on the right side, which is the magic bird side. I'm sorry. Both of you are being such prisoners of the current moment. I know you both like LeBron. Unfortunately, LaShannon Sharp across from me is over the top, fanatically, <laughs> blindly in love with LeBron. Nope. So I, it's hard to fight back on that one. But on sheer <laughs> killer will, I've never seen anything like Magic and Bird this side of Michael Jordan. And to Chris's point, I have Magic second on my all-time list. I have Larry eighth on my all-time list. I've got LeBron ninth, and I have yet really? to rank KD yet because KD hasn't qualified for a top 20 ranking just yet. He will at a some top point. 20? We have to see him finish it out and see what Give he can do. Give me top 15 already. Probably going to win one this year. We'll see how He's that goes. He's top 15 right now as we okay. sit here. All right. So the point is, when we talk about assassin's mentality, when we talk about overwhelming intangibles, I'm talking about Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. And when we're talking about defense, I'm going to remind you, even this would, this would work in two-on-two. Two. This would manifest itself. Magic Johnson led the whole league in steals twice. Larry Bird four times led the whole league, the whole NBA, in defensive win shares. We know what Larry can do on offense. And listen, when Magic wants to score the basketball, he would just figure out how to score the basketball. Remember what he did for Kareem when he had to step in for him? Yeah. First year? What did he 40, do? 42 15 to 7 still against was Philly. It, Game that, six. I that, remember. That, that's, that's what he would do. But that to was you. on, that was on Caldwell did. Jones and okay. Daryl Dawkins. I, that ain't Goat I, James. I, I'm sorry. Goat James is not stronger than Magic Johnson in his prime. You want to talk about natural strength? Oh, Lord it, have mercy. He, I, I saw him. I told Shannon this story earlier. I was there at courtside, 1988 Western Conference Finals, fourth quarter, tie game going to the fourth between the, this is at the Fabulous Forum, the Lakers of Magic Johnson versus the Mavericks of Mark Aguirre. And Roy Tarpley, a seven-foot monster, was killing the Lakers and keeping Dallas in the game. And Magic said, no, Kareem, I got him. And he took Roy Tarpley out of the game. Roy Tarpley was a big old handful, and he would take LeBron out of this game. Kind of like, kind of like what we did to a Tim Duncan? Yeah. We didn't say, I got Tim Duncan. Yeah. Or oh, I got Bam out of bio. Yeah. Is that what he did? He did something like that, Chris? Well, you, you got Bam after he got hurt, right? right. What about Tim out. Duncan? Was Tim Duncan hurt when we took him? I, I don't remember you I remember we took him. We went to, went to that lineup, and LeBron played the five. And we guard one through five, Skip. You know that. I, I do need to know what the rules are in this game because – if there's any foul shooting going on, and usually uh, there's not, but if there's any foul shooting, I got two of the greatest ever, and you got a liability at the late game free throw line named LeBron James. And what do I call LBJ? LB no, no J, because <laughs> he doesn't have much of a consistent jump oh, shot. In this game against the mystique of Magic Bird, yeah. LeBron will be choking his that, that brains turnaround. out. That turnaround jumper. Hold on, here, Skip. I, like I said, I'm with you on a five on five, but two on two, there's no way. And you, like I said, Magic didn't have a jumper, so no, how's he? Just, and LeBron's you, getting. You don't to think the Magic rim could get will. to the rim but on he, LeBron? Here's the thing, yes, Jim. he could. Le Magic was could score, like you said, he could score better than people gave him credit yep. for, because he didn't really have to score a lot, but he could score when he had to. But here's the thing, Skip, and I say this all the time. Today's players, and obviously that includes LeBron and KD, are under more scrutiny than yesteryear's players. So we only remember Magic and Bird's glory moments. And, and same thing for Michael Jordan. But if they were living today, do you know we would have the same critiques of them and maybe even harsher than we have of LeBron and KD? Larry Bird's first finals, you know this, Skip, 1981. 
He has back-to-back Eight. three for 11 shooting games. Eight points. Eight points back-to-back. <laughs> the next game, after those two, he goes five for 16 with 12 points. If LeBron or KD did that, it would be, oh, we would be roasting them. You know this, Skip. Same thing for uh, Magic. You remember 1984. Tragic Johnson dribbling, yep, out, the dribbling clock, out the clock. Throwing away the bad passes as the greatest point guard ever. So my point is, just like you want we can point out, well, LeBron struggled against Dallas. Or KD, you know, gave up a 3-1 lead to Golden State. We can go to moments like that for Burr and Magic, too. So I, I, I would give those two, if you're talking mental toughness, a slight edge, but it's slight. It's not like it's dominant over those two because they, they have all had their moments of struggling and they've all had their great moments in the big, on the big stage, too. Okay, I know I'm coming across as grumpy old man. You are. I can recollect the time, <laughs> but I do remember the time. I was there, Chris. You were there for some of it, I think. But I was there for all of it. I was around Magic and around Bird, and I'm talking about powerhouse personalities that took over basketball games the way I don't see LeBron be able to. KD is mentally tougher than LeBron is, but I don't think he's mentally tougher than the other two that they would have to face. They would get overwhelmed just on trash talk, killer will. Do you, do you realize Larry Bird is the greatest trash talker ever? Hey, 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 hey Chris, you don't mind me asking. Let's just say for the sake of argument, um, LeBron got an opportunity to play with Kareem for eight years. Does he have one title? He have two titles? If KD got an opportunity to play with Kevin McHale, Robert Paris, Dennis Johnson, Tiny Archibald, Bill Walton coming off the bench, Cornbread Maxwell, do I need to go on? I don't like to do this, Skip. Would it be as great as it was? No, it <laughs> James would not. Wor James Worth is in the Hall of Fame. Jamal Wilkes is in the Hall of Fame. Bob mm -hmm. McAdoo is in the Hall of Fame. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is in the Hall of Fame. Heck, I Michael Chris Cooper. Broussard's in the Hall of yeah, Fame. Yeah, but don't do that, Everybody's Skip. Everybody's in the Hall of Fame. Don't do that to LeBron. The GOAT, he go for a reason. Stop it with the goat. Even even Chris knows LeBron's and the not turnaround. the goat. And who gonna stop that turnaround jumper? Would he would he hit well, that head like a dream goat, shake? Uh, with this kind of pressure, nobody no pressure. just don't even guard him. Just let him shoot it. Lay up, Imagine Ryan if he's saying, KD. just shoot it. Lay up line. We got a lay up line yeah. to the basket with no goat Jay. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.